This game functions as a personal organizer. Very personal, in fact. When you first turn it on, E.T. asks a series of detailed questions about what you'd like to eat, what your hobbies are, and where you live. It becomes obvious that this game was meant for the young crowd when it starts asking questions about school. Thankfully, you can bypass this question session. Some of the other features include a calendar, an address book, and a to-do list, all of which are totally worthless nowadays. One cool thing, though, is that if you have a phone number stored on the game, you can use the Game Boy to make a real call. You just take a phone, get the dial tone, and hold it up to the Game Boy speaker. I didn't think it would work, but I actually used it to make a call to someone. So far, it probably seems like this isn't even a game. But believe it or not, this game has five mini-games built into it. The most playable one has Elliot and E.T. riding a bike down the street. You can jump, do tricks in the air, and once you gather enough power, you can levitate for a short period of time. Cluttering up the roads are obstacles to avoid and ramps to jump. There are strips you can pass over for a boost of speed, but beware, the programmers have the habit of placing things right in front of them. I played this minigame for a long period of time, but the stages kept on coming, so I have no idea if there's even an ending to it. Either way, the game is very repetitive and functions only as a mindless diversion. There's a trivia game as well, you can choose E.T. Trivia or Space Trivia. Unless the movie is fresh in your mind, you'll probably choose Space Trivia. Most of the questions are about basic astronomy, but a few questions are way too hard for a game intended for kids. There's also some questions that make no sense, such as when it asks how long it takes to get to a certain planet. Obviously, it would depend on how fast you are traveling. There were also times when it didn't even ask a question, but still required a response. You can tell that they just slopped this trivia game together. The other mini games aren't that much to comment on. There's a word scramble game, a slide puzzle game that's hard on the eyes, and a matching game that plays like the classic board game Memory. Earning points in the minigames does allow you to unlock movie images, which gives you a reason to keep playing the mediocre games, but it takes so many points to unlock each image that it's not worth the time. The images aren't that impressive to look at anyway. There's also a virtual pet. It's good for a couple of giggles, but it gets boring after a few minutes. Digital Companion builds itself as a personal organizer, but it isn't very useful today, and probably never was. Don't waste your time on it. 